and we are deicide. God bless you all. This song is called Ross Kemp on Gangbangs.
You just need to do one thing. You need to lose your fucking minds with us. Come on! Give me a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot down your spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> How are we doing? It's so good to be here at Bloodstock, the UK's number one Christian rock festival. This next song is about getting romantically entangled with Glenn Danzig at a goth nightclub. It's very relatable. So we've got a very special guest to bring out for this song, Bloodstock. This man was the star of our latest music video and he's flown all the way from the United States of America. Give it up for Mr. Glenn Danzig! <laughs> now, I know what you were thinking. You were thinking, there's no way they've got the real Danzig to come to Bloodstock. Well, look, eat your words, Bloodstock. The real Danzig. I can still see some of you not, like, you don't believe me. And, like, it's probably because you're quite far away. Don't look at the screens. You're quite far away. <laughs> but this is the real Glenn Danzig, I promise you. And I'll prove it to you. Listen to this. Mother. See? It's really fucking him. He, uh, he looks fucking nothing like Danzig, does he? <laughs> We've done this since the album came out and every single time he walks out, it shocks me how much he doesn't look like Danzig. <laughs> Are we the worst band that's ever played this stage? <laughs> Fuck it. This song is called Strictly Come Danzig. <laughs>
Close to malevolence, right? <laughs> Who likes Napalm Death? <laughs> this next song is about their frontman, Barney Greenway, and the unique way that he dances on stage. Anyone who's seen it will know what I'm talking about. Essentially, he looks like a man who's gone for a jog and been attacked by a swarm of wasps. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. So why I want to see Bloodstock? is I want to see this pit open up. And when I scream the words, dance like Barney fucking Greenway, everybody does their best Barney Greenway dance. Are you ready? This one's fast, it's called Dance Like Barney Greenway. Stuck. 
The artwork on that screen was by a Mr. Dan Goldsworthy. Check him out. Are you ready to meet another special guest? Don't worry, it's not another bloke in a wig. This is the sixth member of Raised by Owls and arguably the most popular member of this band. I can't believe I'm about to fucking say this. Please welcome to the stage my mom. Oh wait, it is just a bloke in a wig. Fuck off, you cheeky twat. Hello, my blood cockers. How you doing? Are you having a good time? Hey, I've seen you doing that mashing, running around. You be, be careful. And, and I've seen you doing that head bashing as well. Anyway, I'm glad you're having a nice time. I've only come to see you. I'm not really a nun. Anyway, have you had plenty of alcohol? Yeah. Look, let's face it, you'd have to be fucking pissed to watch this pile of crap. <laughs> yeah, all right, enough of that, enough of that. We're going to be at the signing tent. We're going to be at the signing tent at 12.15. The whole band's going to be there, including my mum. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah, and if you come, I'll show you my tits. That's my mum. Oh, she's gone. She was meant to stay out for this song, but she's like, oh, yeah, come back. This is the last time I'm bringing her anywhere. Fucking hell. Right, moving on swiftly. I want to see you split it down the middle, Bloodstock. We have done this every single time we've been at this festival. We are going to have the most British wall of death. Don't worry, it's not a Brexit thing. We're going to have the most British wall of death. On this side, it's people who think it's pronounced scones. And on this side, it's people who think it's pronounced scones. I want to see the big. <laughs> I want to see the biggest circle, the fucking biggest wall of death of the weekend, Bloodstock. And my mum is gonna stay out and rock out with us. All right. This is the first song we ever released as a band, and it's called Satanists on Yorkshire Moors. Give them the horns. just wandered over we're rotting christ thanks for checking us out all right this next song i think is relatable to everyone in this field it's about wearing an inappropriate band t-shirt in public which is fine here i can see a, a sea of t-shirts and it's fine at bloodstock but in the real world it doesn't cut it for example 
If you go to work wearing a butchered at birth t-shirt on Dress Down Friday, that's apparently gross misconduct. <laughs> and if you walk past a church wearing that famous Cradle of Filth t-shirt, <laughs> the priest will verbally and physically assault you. I found that out the hard way. And I didn't know this one, but if you go out in public wearing a Five Finger Death Punch t-shirt, no one wants to have sex with you. I mean, that one I can kind of understand a bit. This song's about wearing an inappropriate band t-shirt in public. It's called, I'm sorry I wore a dying fetus t-shirt to your baby's gender reveal party. I want to see the slammers. Let me see that pit open up. Yeah, Bloodstock. That song and music video got us supporting Dying Fetus. How about that? Are you ready for some black metal, Bloodstock? 
Let me see those invisible oranges. Hold them up in the sky. The Krieg Claw. And I want to see you looking miserable as fuck. Grimace! Grimace for me! Yeah, like you're having a fucking miserable Sunday. This song is about the most cult, the most evil, and the most frostbitten band in the world. That's right. It's about Limp Biscuit. Repeat after me. All hail Fred Durst! All hail Fred Durst! This song is called The Dark and Twisted Realm in which Fred Durst resides.
watch him struggle to get back on stage. He looks like a used condom now. Blobby, come here. For anyone who's just wandered over and doesn't know who we are, we're Cradle of Filth. Good morning. This is Danny Filth. Please don't throw any gobstoppers at him. All right, we've been raised by owls. We've got one song left. Thank you so fucking much for coming down early for us. Have you had a good time? We'll be at the sign in tent at 12.15. We have got merchandise at the back. We've got the Cradle of Filth parody t-shirt over at the merch tent. Please go buy a t-shirt, we're skint as fuck. This is gonna be our last song and it is a cover and we are gonna fucking murder a cover for you, Bloodstock. We are the most uncool band to ever grace this stage, so we thought, why not end with a cover that most Bloodstockers probably might not like, but you secretly do like. We have been raised by Owls Bloodstock, and this song is called Break Stuff. If you know it, sing it.
Come on in, come on in. 